Assalamualaikum. This is Adi Srabia from Pakistan. Today, I'm starting the Adobe Photoshop series for the beginners. Guys, in first class, I want to show you how you can choose the marquee tool and make the different designs. From here, you have rectangular marquee tool, elliptical marquee tool, single row marquee tool, and single column marquee tool. First of all, I want to show you how you can use the rectangular marquee tool. Select this. and by selecting this double click and drag the mouse i'm selecting this you can see this is selected with the help of this move tool this is called the move tool with the help of this move tool you can drag this picture right here again i want to show you how you can drag guys this select this and with the help of mouse keep on dragging Keep on dragging till you have this into your this file. See, now by pressing Control minus, I'm resizing this. By pressing Shift, hold from this. By pressing Shift, hold from here, from the corner, and resize. I'm pressing Control plus to make the picture larger. Again, by pressing Shift and by holding from this corner, I'm resizing. Yes, now I want to show you how you can remove any of the area. Like this, I selected this and simply press Delete button to delete. Like this, you can delete. I'm also deleting this. Like this. you can delete any of the portion and if you want the portion to come back to undo and selection simply press control z you can also press control alt and z together like this you have the selection back now i want to show you how you can use the elliptical marquee tool this tool i'm pressing shift and let's make a ellipse by pressing this left button i'm clicking on transform selection you can transform this and let's make it large let's make it size larger i want to select this center part Guys, now by this move tool, uh, click on this, and you can apply this. You can see this is cut. Now I'm taking the new file from here. You can open the new file into new, and you can name your document here. Like I'm naming it Motif. And if you want to see the document type, I always take it as custom. There are many other options like photo, US paper, web, mobile app, and many others. Width I'm taking to 12, and the height also 12. I want a 12 by 12 canvas, and the resolution I'm taking 72. But if you want a dress to print, you have to take the resolution 300. I always take the color mode to RGB and the background contents I'm taking this to transparent. If you click here, you can see other options I'm taking transparent. Hit okay. The new document is open. I'm making here a new layer. If I hold this selection and drag this with the help of move tool You can see I have this right here by pressing control T it is shortcut key to transform you can transform this by holding the shift button see you can make it smaller or larger press enter guys this if you want to name this layer i'm naming it as background just double click and press enter you can name it very easily i want here the white color so i have clicked this 
and this is open now I'm going to select this white color hit ok you can see I have this white color right here if I press alt and backspace you can fill the color very easily guys now if you want to make a copy of this simply by clicking on alt button you can drag and it will make the copy like this you can make multiple copies of your motif guys in next classes i will show you how you can make the shirt i have many other videos on my channel you can go and watch those also guys now i have done with the rectangular marquee tool and elliptical marquee tool now i will go with single row marquee tool and single column marquee tool from here let's open a new document i am taking the i am taking the new document let's take the size into the pixels last time i had shown you i had taken the size to 12 by 12 inches of my canvas now i am taking to 200 by 200 pixels and the resolution i am taking to 700 hit ok guys now let's fill the color foreground color i am taking white hit ok like this if i press alt backspace you can easily fill the color this foreground color now if i want black color right here for my rows and columns I've selected this color and let's go with single row marquee tool. I'm pressing control plus. Guys, now you see I have these rulers here and here. If I go into the view and I uncheck these rulers, the rulers are removed. But if you want the rulers, click here, check this and you can see the rulers present here. Now you can see this, I have this one. If I click here and press Alt Backspace, I can fill the color into my this ruler. If I click here on the two, I can fill the color Alt Backspace. Now, this is row. If I go with for column, single column marquee tool, I click here on the one and Alt Backspace, I click here and alt backspace see guys although this is not even this was not 3 by 3 inches but i have just shown you an example that you can make the rows and the columns like this so guys this is all for today in today's class you had learned about the marquee tools if you like this class, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and stay connected. Take care. Allah Hafiz.